Hello and welcome to my floss tube. This is floss tube number three and we are now at the end of February thankfully. Um, yeah for, for those of you who don't know me which is pretty much all of you um, I suffer from depression and anxiety and February and it's really, uh, also uh, not helped by the weather at all so I have one of those lovely sad lamps that glow in your face um, which does help it definitely helps uh, but February is always the worst month for me in the year um, but thankfully it's all over now so so we can we can talk about the positives so uh, what's been happening to me uh, for the last the last month so uh, unfortunately although I said I was going to talk about positives uh, unfortunately um, it has been so stormy here in the UK uh, we've had three named storms in February um, and I've been unable to go to do much um, outdoor swimming uh, in the sea because the waves have been horrendous um, so that was ill-advised so uh, no swimming for me recently unfortunately uh, but hopefully March will be better and um, I'll be able to get back to that um, uh, uh, also I uh, <laughs> I was uh, looking forward to gaining a trampoline during those storms, but no, next door's trampoline is still next door's trampoline, and it's not it's not mine yet. So maybe maybe later on in the year when there's another storm, you never know. Um, other good things, uh, I managed to go and visit my nibblings uh, last weekend, actually a couple of days ago. Um, that was lovely. Uh, they are. I have a nephew who is two and a niece who has just turned six. Um, actually, I made her a uh, plushy light fury. Uh, for those of you who don't watch um, um, kiddie movies, uh, it's from the How to Train Your Dragon series of movies. I think Toothless uh, meets, I haven't actually seen the latest one, this, but, but Mila has, so uh, I was told all about it. Um, Toothless meets a, a, uh, a light fury dragon and um, they, I think they become friends. So here is a picture of um, my uh, making of that. Um, really, I followed a pattern from, um, oh dear, it's gone out of my head. So Desiree, I'll put a, a link below. Uh, really easy to follow, her patterns are amazing. And, she, and this one was free, free. So I didn't even need to pay for anything. I did need to buy extra white, white fabric because I didn't quite have enough. Uh, because it, although you think, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be small. It's going to be this big. No, so when you make, put it together, you're, it's always much larger than you expect. Uh, so I bought a lot of white fabric to um, manage to put that together. And she loved it, so that was the main thing. Although it's white, so I'm not sure how long that is going to remain as uh, as white as it as it was. But uh, she liked it, so that's that's fine. And we had a uh, we spent quite a while. She told me all about uh, the new film. Maybe it's not that new. I don't keep up with the Disney movies. Um, called Encanto, and I was told all about that. Uh, we did a lot of Play-Doh. I've still, I've still got it underneath my nails. Uh, yeah, no, it was good. The only horrible, awful thing is the travel. Uh, I, I went on public transport. There were rail replacement bus services. So I made a bad decision, it turns out, to take a coach and the train. But there were delays everywhere. <laughs> the M4 was closed when I tried to get back down it. But on the plus side, I did get a lot of stitching done and I managed to catch up with my floss tubes and I managed to catch up with my podcast as well. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, there were some good bits there. Um, obviously, the bad thing that's been happening this month is the state of the world. And um, I've been, I mean, what can you say? It's, it's awful. It's awful. Um, so in my very small way, I have um, 
hunted down uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, cross stitch um, designers, and I bought I bought a ton of patterns from X Cross Stitch X. I'll link her below. She has I mean I recommend that you go go uh, and and look at those. They, she has the most amazing T Rex in space. An astronaut um, riding a T Rex in space. So I've bought that pattern and I will stitch it for my friend who um, really likes space and has a sense of humour. So I'll do that. Um, and I hope in some small way that that helps um, the people in Ukraine. I'm sure it makes barely a dent on the trauma that they are going through. <sighs> but yeah, there you go. Anyway, on to something more positive. Um, let's talk about stitching because that's that's what we're here for. So uh, my first uh, one that I'm going to talk about is my Temperature Galaxy. Here we go. This is from Climbing Goat. Oh, I haven't written that down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's right. It's Climbing Goat. Uh, and uh, this I started at the beginning of the year. Um, and it's on 25 count black even weave, uh, which I bought from Wool Warehouse, uh, which is a really good place to get uh, cheap um, fabric, uh, it, as long as you don't want anything particularly exciting. But this one I just wanted black, so it's okay. Uh, I am not up to date, as you can see. Uh, this this is I've done I've done January over here and then I've started February and I'm halfway through February but look look I got to stitch and put it underneath the smaller one uh, sorry where are we uh, yes look I got to stitch my favorite color finally 550 <laughs> that that's six degrees uh, was there and um, I think that was the 11th of February and I finally got to stitch it it has not appeared since at all well, at least as far as I've got. So um, I am also a bit behind on my bead putting in. I thought I was supposed to be stitching, I think it's uh, white stitches for the stars. I put beads in because I thought that added a little bit of sparkle. And anyway, this is on my letters of the month for March. So I will be uh, doing my best to catch up. Uh, on that one but it's 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 really fun stitch and I'm enjoying watching the galaxy arms come together yeah it's good um right let's put this to the side I'm always vaguely organized today uh what else have I been doing so oh I made myself some grind guards um there we go figure I I vaguely know how to sew so I I shouldn't buy them I should make them myself I found this fabric, it has the most ridiculous things on it, um, like dream big dreams, a thankful heart. Anyway, I got this fabric in Japan uh, when I visited, like, it feels like a decade ago, but I don't think it was quite that long. It was at least five, six years ago that I went, and they have this, uh, they have this whole road in Japan, I've forgotten the name of the place, uh, with just fabric shops. There are fabric shops all the way down the road and um, I dragged my boyfriend at the time down <laughs> through the mall going, just, just amazing, look at all this fabric. He was very good with me. Yeah, very good. Um, so yes, it's got lots of hearts and happy bunnies and um, the sentiment is, is supposed to be, it's very sparkly as well, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's quite it's quite fun. So it's, it's a fun, silly fabric. So I made some grind guards out of that. Um, right, yes, onto the, my favourite cross stitch. Still my favourite. So this is Dragon Clans by Anne Stokes, charted by Pain Free Crafts. This is on 25 count, easy count. And uh, here is a picture of what it will look like. When it's done in like three years time okay and um this is if i can find the picture this is where i was last time i think i hadn't quite finished the tail part of it 
and as you can see I have now let's just remove all that thread I've now finished the tail well the tip of the tail on this page I did a page finish yesterday Why is that better? Anyway, you can see that um, that is that's the rock, isn't it? Yes. So this is the the tip of the wing of the black dragon is appearing, and this is the other wing of the black of the black dragon, which is below here. And this is the I think it's the either the nose or the tip of the wing of the red dragon that is over on the left here. But next page, I'm going to move up to here um, where the main dragon is and I'm going to stitch this page below, which I think is more of her body, less sky, thankfully. I was getting a bit sick of sky, got to admit. Um, so I'm going to move on to one with less sky and uh, I'm not sure what else is down here. I think it might be the beginning of the rock that she's sitting on. Yeah, so that's where we're going with that. Um, oh yes, I, I put together some stats, uh, like the true geek I am. So last month I stitched 2,825 stitches on this one. And this month I've done a measly 2,600 stitches on this. Um, but I know, I, hopefully, I, my excuse is that February is shorter. That's definitely why. I will definitely um, move on to focusing more on, on this one. Uh, have, I was focusing more on uh, the Wind in the Willows one, but then I was realising that because I was trying to get 200 stitches on the Wind in the Willows, um, and then I move on to this one to for the rest of the day to try and get stitches into this one, I was getting fewer stitch. I wasn't getting to do this one quite as much, and that was making me a bit sad because um, on my markup, RXP. Um, it's similar to Pattern Keeper, but it's for uh, Apple. Uh, it was telling me, oh, it was the months that it would take to where it take to finish it was increasing, increasing, and that was just making me a bit sad. So I've moved, I've switched that to only doing a hundred stitches on Wind in the Willows, at least a hundred stitches a day, and then moving on to this one and trying to do two hundred stitches a day. So that's sort of moved this all forward. Which um, makes me happier. I mean, obviously, it does mean that I'm um, falling even further behind on the Wind in the Willows one, but I've uh, I, I've um, reconciled myself with that one. That's that's just how it's going to be. Uh, speaking of which, here it is. Uh, this is on twenty five count again. I think it's something like white snow. Let me just have a look. Sparkle Snow, also from Woolworth Warehouse, because that's where I go when I need a huge piece of fabric. Let me just move myself back. So, oh, this is, uh, so part two came out, uh, and uh, it's a lovely rabbit, apparently paisley rabbit, uh, sitting at the bottom of the window, and this is what that looks like. And um, I moved on to that before finishing part one, which was the framework of the windows. Let's just... That's not the right way around, is it? No, that is... There we go. So... Oh, there you go. You can see that I have not finished the framework. I've done... I concentrated on the bottom corner where I knew the second part would be appearing. Um, wherever the next part is tomorrow, I'm going to have to uh, finish the framework up to that point so that I can start that. So that's what I've decided to do. When, whenever the next one comes out, I'm just going to start on that one and then I'll go back and finish off whatever I've got left over um, if I manage to finish it, the section in the month, which is looking unlikely, to be honest. So if I, I can't quite get it underneath the panel, so if I just fold up you can see. Um, so this is the tip of her ears. Um, other people have uh, got much further than I have and uh, she's reading a book. Um, 
uh, at the bottom of the window looking out she's inside she's looking out at something outside the window which hopefully we will discover what that is so i've been i've uh, yep got this far uh, and you can see that there's all the threads hanging down <laughs> My husband looks at it and, and says, how do you cope? How do you cope with all the threads? And I'm like, this is just the way I do it. You know, other people are um, much more tidy and do not have this, this uh, array of threads hanging down. Anyway, it works for me. It works for me. So, yeah, that's as far as I've got with her. Uh, um, and, oh yes, how many stitches did I do? So... I have done this month, wind and willows, two, 3,919 stitches, which that's not bad, really, I think. Although last month I did 5,989 stitches on the framework. I think that's because it must have been just easier to to, to get going because it's all one, all one colour. Well, there are three colours, but once you've done the awkward, is it going to match up? oh my word, I'm really quite scared. Once you've got through that part, then you're just following it, the line uh, across. Um, so yeah, having fun with that. Excited to see what the next part is. Uh, yeah. It is going to be huge and I have no idea where I'll have space to hang it. May maybe over on that wall there. I don't know. Oh, we'll just get to that problem when we get to it. Okay, on to the next ones. So, oh yes, Matt, if you're watching, look away now. You uh, just uh, forward for a couple of minutes. Okay, okay he's gone, hopefully. So, uh, while I was doing that epic journey of doom um, a couple of days ago, I brought this one along as my travel stitch. This is... Star Wars Icons by Awesome Pattern Studio and this is what it's going to look like and uh, previously I had done uh, Chewy and Yoda um, while I was on my journey I have done the majority of R2-D2 I think there's one stitch that I'm missing because I ran out of that, I didn't bring quite enough thread with me. Um, so I have to go back and fill that in before I completely forget to do that. Uh, and then I started on Bob Effect, which is 50% done, I reckon. And then we can move on to the other dudes. They're all dudes, as I've said, and I really must hunt down a pattern um, to find all the other. Actually, I did find uh, a beautiful, no, it was pretty but slightly creepy a picture of um a scarlet witch so but she has she has no face i mean that doesn't really bother me i reckon that's fine um uh yeah i'll link that down below but i, I might i might buy that and, and do that next did i say what what fabric this was no sorry so this is uh i have forgotten let me just there we go this is 25 count creationist purple fabric flare, fabric flare, yeah, which I bought from Sew It All um, because I couldn't find, my preferred count is 25 count and I struggle to find nice fabrics in it because obviously I'm in the minority. Okay, so that's that one. Um, what do we want to do next? Oh yes, so this is my first Chatelaine. Um, so I had just started this one last time um, I showed you and now look at it. Yay! I've completed the inside. Oh, sorry. This is what it will look like when it's finished. Although this is not a very good picture. This is the one that they have on the site. And I'm always, I'm always going, yes, but what does it actually look like? Uh, but thankfully, Chatelaine have a uh, gallery. A gallery is a separate website 
uh, that you can go on and see if anyone else has stitched, stitched it. What does it say? Um, and then you can see what it actually was going to look like. And thankfully someone had stitched it um, and I, I figured it was still very nice. So I finished the violet in the middle. Let me show on under here. So yeah, so I finished the violet in the middle and uh, this is one over one. Some of it's a bit well, one over one, sorry. Um, and it all looks, it all looks good. I haven't put the name in yet. I will get around to doing that. And I started on the border. I was, um, yeah, there's a lot of these, all these blues here are needlepoint silks. And this is a Gloriana, this purple, this purple is lovely. Love it. Um, don't regret buying that. Uh, these are, what are they? They're not wheat sty rugs. Wildflowers. Isn't they wildflowers? Water lilies. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> They're definitely one or the other. Okay, anyway, they 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 sort of variegate the the yellow and the this green is separate from the bottom green. Um so anyway, this is a bit of scroll work, that's DMC, and the gold is petite treasure braid. And it's looking and I've got oh and I've done some speciality stitches. So it's a rhodes, there's a rice stitch, I think that's what that one was called, and some Jessica's, that Jessica's not great. Uh, but that one's getting better. So yeah, it's my first ever um, specialty stitches and I'm really enjoying them. I think they look really fun. And I was sorting through my beads the other day. So I have a, a stupidly large collection of beads where I used to do a lot of um, jewellery making, which I don't do anymore. But that means that I've got I've got a good selection. So I reckon I can I can fill this one out just from my stash. Obviously it won't be exactly the same, but that's fine. And I'm really liking this. Apart from the amount of gold, so I'm not a very big gold fan, and there is a fair amount of outlining gold um, around this. And next time I buy a chatelaine, I'm going to see if I can um, substitute the gold with silver, which I think I would prefer. Um, which is probably a heinous crime for chatelaines, but. It's just that's just my preference and I have to look at it so yeah anyway really loving this what did I say what this is this is uh, the medieval flower star 4 violet which so for obvious reasons I have to have this one um, and this is on 25 28 count because I was worried about the beads fitting okay even weave and I think you say it keone from Chromatic Alchemy and it's an opalescent because I love all things sparkly and I think that's again why the gold isn't quite working because of the silvery sparkliness from the fabric that's my mistake but it, it looks good enough it looks good enough okay so oh and there is a Chatelaine sale uh, today so I think I will be buying some more I'm going to buy the Octopus Cave which looks great. I was going to buy the uh, the net the larger violet medalla, um, but the octopus cave looks really cool, and I do like octopi. And it's got jellyfish as well, so it looks really good fun. So I'm going to purchase that one, and then it will take me forever to um, put together all the silks and and the colours and everything, hunt them down. So that's that one. Let's put that back in the bag. Uh, oh yeah, I did discover that while doing the Chatelaine, um, I I bought all the all the silks that were on the material list. But actually, this one is never used. Uh, this Gloriana here, never used. How annoying! That's I mean that's not cheap. <laughs> so I'm I'm going to write and tell them that uh, they need to update their their material list because. And someone else will be less irritated. Anyway, it's a lovely colour. I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll use it at some point. Uh, then on to the very on new starts. New starts, yeah. So <laughs> so my fabric finally arrived. Sorry about the crinkling. Need to make some more project bags. My fabric finally arrived for the fox. 
um, which I ordered from Chromatic Alchemy. Um, and so as soon as it arrived, I thought, well, look, it's here and I have all the threads, so I need to start. Oh, oh there's a needle that's just... Oh no, now it's got caught in the slip. Oh, right. You just put that over there. Sort that later. Right. So here is my tiny, tiny start. Uh, this is on 25 count Cirrus from Chromatic Alchemy Opalescent. You see the sparkliness? Hopefully you can see the sparkliness. Um, put it under here. So I have made tiny start, as you can see. Um, I have just started the fox's chest. And that is as far as I've got. But I think it's going to look great. I'm loving this fabric. It looks really pretty. And I've got enough fabric to do all three of the winter ones side by side. So I've got the fox and the swans and the uh, first one is completely unknown because we, I presume we won't discover that until uh, December or something. Oh, and this is by Cottage Garden Samplings. I'm sure everyone, everyone knows that you will have seen it elsewhere. That's where I saw it. Good. So I haven't got very far on that one. Where's that needle gone? Stick that in there before I lose it. Uh, well, while we're on that, this is moving into a haul a bit. There we go. Um, so the other fabrics that I bought from uh, Chromatic Alchemy are so for the jackrabbit and the that'll be the raccoon as well that's come out but I don't own yet. I don't think it actually I don't think it has come out yet but it's been announced. That's right. So the jackrabbit, the raccoon, and whatever is next. If I like it, I have. For this fabric um, to stitch on that, and that is 25 count, what's it called? Feronia. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, even weave opalescent. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit greener than it is, but it's fine. It'll still look great. So there's that one. Uh, yep, and then I bought the Midas from Chromatic Alchemy. I'm not going to take that out. It's goldish, orangey yellow, um, and I'm going to stitch Gathering Acorns um, from got Cottage Garden Samplings. You can see I've got a bit of a bit of an obsession going on there um, and and to continue that obsession I bought oops sorry I didn't mean to notice that um Ali's Dark Magic uh also opalescent and this is for the Clumsy Witch which is again cottage garden samplings uh, I quite like the witch and she's a pdf as well so uh, I'd much prefer pdfs so that one at some point I'll get around to starting that, and then another new start uh, is, um, this one is Barbara Anna, and it's called Up in the Air. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And this is as far as I've got, which is quite far. I'll show you under a close-up. Oops, there we go. Now, I do like Barbara Anna. There are some really odd, there are some really odd things going on in this picture. Okay, so you can't quite tell, but then there's the main character. She looks a bit odd at the moment because I've done her cheeks, but I haven't done the rest of her face. Uh, and she has no arms yet, but she will have arms, don't worry. Uh, so I, yeah, I, there's a lot of black on that dress. So we've been doing that. There are balloons everywhere, um, which reminds me of Bristol. 
um, lots of little birds. And then on her arm, there is this other woman holding, is it a sunflower or a key? You'll know because you've just seen the picture. I can't remember. And then there are other random things. And then there's a cat down at the bottom here. Um, I'm thinking of giving this to my friend as a present. She hasn't found the spot tube yet, hopefully. So it won't be, <laughs> the surprise won't be spoiled. And her cat is grey. So I'm going to change the colours and uh, do a grey cat at the bottom here. So hopefully that'll to look sim uh, similar to hers. I don't know what, I mean, obviously she doesn't go around in the top hat and a huge dress with sunflowers on it with little, little people on her arms. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure what message I'm trying to give her here, but hopefully she'll like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Oh, then part of me is going, oh, it's so nice. Maybe I'll keep it. She never knows. She doesn't know yet. So we'll see. We'll see if I manage to give it away at the end. I think that's all my whips. As you can see, I am I am growing in, in whips. I think I started the year with three. And <laughs> now I've got, I think, ten or something. But, um, yeah, it's watching all these floss tubes. Uh, it's giving it's a bad influence. And then... Uh, yeah, everyone keeps having sales and, oh dear, what am I going to do? It's tragic. Uh, okay, so I did finish something. My first finish of 2022. Let me show you. It's buried under here now. I haven't fully finished it because, as you can see, the back isn't completely done. So this is, uh, what's it called? Release the Kraken Time. So I finished this around Valentine's Day. Um... And I stitched 750 in the middle, and the reason for that is uh, because it's been 750 days since uh, I was, I've been married. <laughs> so we are um, celebrating. <laughs> see, the uh, we used to celebrate every 10 days we were married, but that became quite quite a lot after a short period of time. So now we've moved it down to every 50 days. So we went out to have a nice meal. And I gave my husband the, uh, oh yeah, the very romantic gift of a cross stitch kraken holding a heart. What more could a guy want? <laughs> so yes. Oh, oops, bit of fluff. This is from Lola Crow Crafts. Lola Crow Designs. Oh, hang on, let me check. Lola Crow Cross Stitch. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Uh, she has quite a few funky designs. There's another one with um, Bigfoot and one with a UFO and I've forgotten the last one. Anyway, there are lots, so you should go and check out her Etsy shop. It's very cool. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, oh, no, I did buy... Uh, while I was trying to stitch the light fury for my niece, I got really exasperated with my scissors. Um, now, who else can I can I get enthusiastic about scissors about other than you guys? So I bought two new pairs of scissors. So they're both this scars, my favourite. Look at this. Look at this tiny. They're so good. So they snip really. Because the problem I've been having with doing some sewing is that when you when you've got your large pair of scissors and you're trying to make tiny tiny but very but you need sharp um, cuts, scissors are useless. But these ones are really good because they're very precise and very sharp. So they are great. And then I bought myself um, some. These are lovely. These cut through like 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 butter. Um, as compared to my old ones, which I've had, you know, fair enough for a couple of years now, just chewing away at the fabric, which was really frustrating to me. So that was my, that was my fun purchase for February, the scissors. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Um, what else do I have to say? I think that's it. And I've said everything and we're now at 34 minutes. See, each floss tube is getting slightly longer. So as I'm getting more confident and I have more whips and things and things to say, I think that's a good sign. Uh, so yeah, so thank you very much. If you've got this far, thank you very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate any likes, any subscriptions. 
every time I get a new subscriber, I do my little happy dance around the house. Look, I've got a new subscriber. It's exciting. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not sure when that'll stop. Probably not for a while. Uh, it's all very exciting. And uh, so yeah, so uh, please comment, love comments. It's, um, it means, <laughs> Is that we're having a kind of conversation and uh, it's not just me talking into the void uh oh oh no i have one more thing to say i remember now i should really write these things down i've made some little needle minders so oh i can put it underneath so i do some glass work because i have a little uh mini kiln which you can't oh yeah, actually you can see so the blue box over there with the red lights on it it's, that's the controller part that's attached to the kiln at the back there, um, which I make uh, bowls and uh, spoon rests are a popular thing on my Etsy shop. I'll link my Etsy shop below. Uh, anyway, I thought I could make some needle minders. So I've made this little snail. Uh, I've got some other little, little insect animals and I've also a snowdrop. I was going to make some other flowers as well. But those are on my shop if you'd like them. They're, they're attached to ridiculously strong magnets, look at that, and hold a needle, hopefully, this is where it won't go wrong, yeah, pretty well. Um, and, you know, I'm making my stitching, well, they do all the things a normal needle minder would do, you know what a needle minder is. Anyway, so there's that, and that, that is definitely everything now. Um, so thank you very much for watching. It's been it's been lovely, and I should hopefully be back at the end of March. Uh, yeah, it's another fun floss tube with me. All right, bye everyone. <laughs>